In this video, we're going to be installing Jupyter Notebook in Ubuntu version 20.04. To install Jupyter Notebook, we're actually going to be using pip to perform the installation. But before we can use pip, we need to verify which version of Python we have on the system. So if I type which Python, you'll see that actually nothing is returned. So, but if I type which Python 3, you'll see that Python 3 exists in user bin. And if I type Python 3 dash dash version, you'll see that I'm using 3.8. Now, if I type which pip, again, I get nothing. And if I try which pip 3, this system does not have pip installed, even though it has Python installed. Now, don't worry too much if your system is a little different. This is a fresh installation of Ubuntu that I'm using. And so this is by default what you would get. Uh, if you have different versions of Python installed, or if you already have pip installed, you should be fine. Just make sure that you have Python 3, preferably 3.8 or better, and that you have pip version 20 or better. If you do, then you can skip the next part of this video. But because we don't have pip installed on this particular system, I'm going to show you how that part works now. Before we install pip, I'm going to type a sudo apt update, hit enter, and enter the password. And we want to do this because we want to make sure that apt has the latest information about versions and dependencies and so forth before we actually try to install pip. And now we're going to try to install pip. So we're going to type sudo apt install python3 dash pip and hit enter. In this instance, it says there's several packages that need to be upgraded in addition to those that need to be installed and asks if we wish to continue. So from of course, I'm going to say yes. And hit enter. Now, once this installation completes, we can verify that pip is installed and see the current version, typing pip dash dash version, which returns pip 20.0. And now we can actually install Jupyter Notebook. And this is simply pip install notebook. Notice I'm not using sudo here. I'm installing this for the current user. And we see in this installation that there were several warnings that occurred. These warnings all state basically the same thing, that a script was installed in a directory that's not included in our path. And here's the path that I'm talking about. It's dot local bin, which is located in the R user's home directory. Now, you may or may not see these warnings, depending on whether or not you have a dot profile and whether or not you've already installed something in dot local bin. It turns out by default, dot local bin does not exist. And so this installation has created those directories. In the dot profile, there is a section of the file that we'll see in just a moment that will add dot local bin to the path if it finds that it exists. And so we can verify that this is uh, not the case here. One, because we see the warnings. And two, if I type which Jupyter, you'll see that I get back nothing. So if I open my dot profile, I'm going to use vi, so vi.profile, hit enter. And we look down towards the bottom here, you'll see that the dot local slash bin directory should be added to the path, but like I said, only if dot local bin already exists. So all we really need to do is source the dot profile file. And so we're going to do exactly that. We're going to exit, and I'm going to type source dot profile, hit enter. And now if I type which Jupyter, you'll see that now we can find Jupyter in dot local bin. And with that, all we need to do now is type Jupyter Notebook, which will start a new notebook server. And it should automatically open up a web browser and point it directly to Jupyter Notebook.